all you need to do your eyebrows either this way or however you want but the way I do it all you're gonna need is some eyebrow pomade eyebrow gel eyebrow pencil I use both you can do one or the other it doesn't matter concealer eyebrow gel and something to blend it out with and my already did one brow um so I'm gonna show you how to go from like this no brow to this sort of what they consider like the Instagram brow, Instagram brow. Um, by brushing out the front of my brow, actually my whole brow, using my brush, either like this, an eyebrow brush like this, this is a 7B from Anastasia, or even like a small eyeliner brush. Um, I use something like this as well. Um, this is another one or like an eyeliner brush something like this is like a smudge brush an angled liner brush something that has a slant and it's kind of thin see the tips how they're thin so you're able to work at an angle and you're not picking up so much product and it's easy to blend out a little bit of my pomade and i use the side of my brush not the direct front i don't go directly and i kind of go in on the side i pick up product just by scraping it here mine's a little dry so it looks like i'm picking up a lot and just pick up some product, add some product on here. Using my cap, I just dab off any excess, kind of use it as a placeholder, and to kind of smush my uh, brush into place, you can see where it kind of separated, but I just kind of flattened it now. Taking my brush with the angle going in the direction of my hair, so you see the angle here. I want this angle to go this way, so I'm going to hold it this way. I line the bottom of my brow. I don't start directly at the front. I start maybe about there. I line the bottom of my brow following my natural brow line directly underneath the hair. Then I just take it out to the end of my brow. And my tail stops here, but I take it out just a bit farther because once I blend it out, um, it won't be super far down. It'll actually match up correctly with the end of my brow. So I just take it out just a smidge farther than this is where my natural brow ends and then this is where I drew my line to. Now, depending on my brush mine's a little like I said a dry so I have to pick up some more product but with this dip brow a little goes a long way honestly I made that mistake before I do the same thing on the top I just match the top of my brow where I started drawing to where I had started drawing on the bottom and I line just above my brow line again following my natural brow and then my eyebrows kind of swoop downward here, you can see. So I just take mine just a little bit farther and create an arc. A little bit farther up and create an arch. And then I connect the two lines at the tail of my brow. And without picking up any more product, I just dabbed into the back of the lid here where I had put that extra product. I just dipped into this excess. Following, again, the direction of my hair growth, I fill that in. Just blending that product through my brow. Again, I follow the direction of the hair. While I'm brushing it in, I tend to, I blend out my product at the same time as well. Then I take the front of my brush, I hold it directly straight, and I'm going to go directly in. And using the excess product that's still on my brush, I blend out the front of my brow. 
and I take it a little bit farther than where my brow ends. So my brow ends here, I'm gonna take it about here. And you will see right now, they're gonna look a little crazy, but it all comes together, trust me. Again, just brush them through to brush out any buildup of product to help disperse it evenly. And then with my spoolie, I blend the front of my brow using an up and down motion. And here it creates that like gradient effect. Using my eyebrow pencil, I just fill in where I notice some sparse hairs. I don't fill in or pick up any more product because I don't want them to look too dark or too chunky because it is a gel-like consistency for the pomade. I wouldn't say gel, it's a pomade. A little goes a long way, but it's very hard to diffuse, so it's a buildable product, so more is actually less in the long run. You don't want to start out with too much product and then your eyebrows kind of look stamped on and it's really hard to buff and blend out with the spoolie afterwards. Using my brow pencil, I just go through my brow and fill in any like sparse hairs, which usually is like here in my arch where I don't grow a lot of hair. And then when I get to the front of my brow, I use a light hand and just create hair-like strokes in an upward motion. see how I took it a little bit farther that's because you're gonna take a concealer brush liner brush whatever you use to carve out and clean up underneath your brow you can see where I have like a muddle product right here some lines that go in and then I haven't really trimmed or haven't been able to go get my eyebrows waxed so I want to cover up those I'm just using a small like square like brush like this and taking some concealer this is a wet and wild photo focus it is a little bit lighter than my skin color, but that's okay because I use it as an eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product just here in the tip of the wand. About that much product. And I'm going to carve out my brows. So using the product, I start right in the front and do the same thing when I was lining with concealer just underneath my natural brow line. And this just helps clean up your brow and any excess product. And then I drag it downwards. I like to connect the concealer from my other brow to kind of create like a unibrow because it helps blend out at the end. Then again, just take the concealer and blend it downwards. Now you can see the difference compared to the bottom of my brow compared to like the tops of my brows where I haven't um, carved out yet, but I'm not gonna use concealer for that. I'm gonna show you how I do that with my foundation. I'm using a beauty blender or a kind of like fluff, fluffy like diffuser brush like this, kind of like a concealer brush. Um, this is one from Real Techniques. It was actually an eye brush. It's called like a crease buffer brush or something like that. I'm gonna buff out all this harsh concealer. So here, I'm just gonna take it and blend it upwards where I have this product. And it kind of erases where I had it and blends out any extra product that might have been built up. So I like to go in with the brush first and just drag that product down, clean it up. This brush is really great for it because it's very dense. So see, see here, I have them carved out. I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and put a little bit more concealer here in the middle of my forehead, like right here. I'm gonna buff that out. And I just use the pointed end of a beauty blender. This is a wet and wild total face sponge. 
to just blend that out. And then go over my eyes here. And I'm just gonna take it around the front of my brow. This brow is definitely my better brow compared to this one. This one is a difficult one. And then I just kind of blend it out. And this is just to get rid of any of like the hair strokes that are left in the brow part. I'm just going to take some brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow in t believe Brownie Brows. And I love like this like triangle like brush. It has like those super tiny microfibers. And I don't use a lot because you can see it does pick up a lot. I kind of brush off the excess and you can kind of see like my phone will focus a little tiny hairs using this. I just kind of set my brows and because this is pigmented, that sparse, those sparse hairs that I had in the front right here, you can see they kind of blend away. And then I just seal my brows down and I use this in the direction of my hair growth. And then I usually only have to make like one pass through the tube because it does pick up a lot of product and a lot of like those little fibers. I seal my brows. Taking a foundation, you're going to carve the top of your brows and this just makes it easier because um, once my brows are done, I don't like getting close to them with a lot of foundation so I don't mess that up. So today I'm going to be using the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade 128. This is Warm Nude. And again, just take a little bit of product. I just take the same brush I use my concealer and just dip it in the inside of the bottle and I take up about that much product. I'm going to carve out the top of my brows. And I'm just going to follow that same brow line that I created earlier and use the foundation to match it off the top of my brow. Pick up just a little bit more product and do the same to the other. And then here in the middle, I like to connect them, just like I did with the concealer, but I like to bring my foundation down here into my T-zone. Then taking either your beauty blender or that same brush I used earlier, you're just going to pounce this all out. And blend it all out. I'm not too perfect with this blending over the top because I'm still going to go back in and put more foundation over it. This is just to kind of get a base for my eyebrow. Blend out the middle. And there we go. That is how I do my brows. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all social media. I'll leave my handle links down below. I'll also leave in my description a list of all products and the shades that I use today and the links on to where you can purchase them. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.